Okay, now it's time to put these three binary grids together using Map Algebra Raster Calculator to find those grid cells that have the highest risk of landslide hazard because all three of the cells overlap. So I'm going to go into Raster Calculator and it's just a matter of adding the grids together. So don't panic if your grids aren't named the same as mine. I converted my high, I changed in properties the name of my LF GT30 to high LF. I changed the name of my SLP GT30 to slope GT30. Um, I didn't change the name of the residential. So your names may be a little bit different, but I have high LF plus slope GT30 or slope greater than 30 plus res. And this output raster is going to, I'm just going to call it, make sure it's out of the default geo database. I'm going to call it results. I'm going to call it actually hazard one. I'm going to tell you why it's one because I'm going to do it again then in a minute, but hold on to your seats. This is fun. Okay. High LF plus slope GT30 plus res. We're going to overlap. We're going to add these together and you'll see what happens. I have a binary hazard grid of zeros, ones, twos, and threes. I'm going to change my zeros to no color. I'm going to change my two, my threes, let's make the threes red so they're the highest hazard. And there is my landslide hazard in the Laguna Beach quadrangle. So anything that is a three means that they are in residential areas on slopes greater than 30% and on elevations greater than or equal to 200 meters. If they are ones, they are either from the elevation or the slope or the residential. Hmm, we don't know where they came from. And if they're twos, the next set, they could be any combination of elevation and slope, elevation and residential, or slope and residential. We don't know. So that actually is the next step that we're going to explore but at least we have a binary grid where we have ones, twos, and threes. Before I move on to the next step, I'm going to open the attribute table. What if a decision maker wanted to know what is the total area of land in the Laguna Beach quadrangle that is on all three, that has all three of these criteria? What is the total area of land that is on steep slopes, high elevation and residential. And what if we need to mitigate those? How do I figure that out? Well, the count is the key. There's 3,432 grid cells that meet that criteria. And you multiply that by the grid cell resolution, which is, uh, is 9.44 squared. And that gives you the total area in square meters. And then you can convert that to square kilometers. And that tells you the total landslide hazard area or the area that meets those specific three criteria. Now recall that these criteria are just my criteria. They don't necessarily mean that they might be your criteria, so you may want to change them when you redo this analysis and make your map. But I'm going to end this part of the video, and we're going to go on to the more step, because I'm sure you're wondering, well, how do I know which cells came from which combination of hazard criteria in the twos. How do I know which cells came from slope or elevation or residential? A decision maker is going to want you to be able to tell them that. You can't tell that just from this analysis. So we do need to take this one step further. So wait till the next step and I'm going to show you how to do that.